What is up guys, Flossing Missiles here. In today's video, it's race day. So as you can see, I got the Honda all loaded up on the back of the ramp truck, and we are ready to rock. I am so excited. I mean, I'm not excited about not having second gear, but other than that, I'm totally excited. I just arrived over here at Dane's house. There's his F-150 all loaded up with his uh, CRX on the back. He's got Uncle Gus upright on the top of his car. It's so stinking hilarious. I love it. He's got all this like yellow wire around his uh, windshield too that lights up and stuff. So that's really cool. But uh, yeah, we're headed to Paris Speedway. It's about 35 minutes away. So not too big, not too long of a drive, but we're getting there super early. It's one o'clock right now and the race doesn't technically start till seven. So we got some time to kill. Um, super excited though. Hopefully my rig stays together. I, I reset the odometer when I first got it and I've put on a mile and a half on it since I've owned it. So <laughs> I, I don't know if that's much of a test drive or whatever. So hopefully it stays together. Oh, also I put some, some more decoration on it. I went ahead and I put some stickers on it that Dane made me. I'll show you guys those in a second. And I also put license plates on it. So we got another contender out here. Steven's got his, uh, his free Corolla. He painted it black and yellow. Dude, it looks sweet. Yeah, his has got like a really gnarly cage in it and everything. So, oh, that's so sick. So yeah, three of us from Norco at least. I think four even. Actually, yeah, four of us from Norco I think should be out there. So super stoked to see this thing all done. One last strap check. Check these babies, make sure they are I'm good to go. I don't think it's gonna fall off. Just sent in some good uh, Southern California traffic. His uncle Gus totally been. We just pulled up to the race, they gave me this wristband, I gave him $50, which is a lot. But hopefully I end up winning and I make that money back. It's kind of windy, so sorry about the wind, but you can see there's figure eight cars and real demo cross cars <laughs> and all their kinds of junk back here parked. So we're gonna unload the Honda and hopefully, I don't know, I don't know if I could test drive it anywhere around here, but I'd like to get at least one more mile on this thing just so I know how it feels. But other than that, everything is going pretty smooth. Next level. Check out this Kroller camera with these super gnarly off-road tires. These are off of a Razor. And so we're racing on dirt, so I have a feeling this dude's gonna hook up really good as far as traction goes. That's rad. This is in the four-cylinder class as well. It's red, white, and blue. Wow. Is this a Celica? When did you get your car set? Saturday, Sunday? Is a Celica? Or a... Yeah, yeah, this is a... This, uh, 85 Man, that's cool. Another guy in our class, check out the CRX. It's all crumpled in the back here, but it's got all kinds of cage work going on. Serious bumpers on this thing. This thing sounded really mean when he pulled it off the trailer. So, can't we see this thing run? Looks like it's ready to go as well. Man, there's so many of us. I think there's probably 10 or 15 four cylinder people in the four cylinder class. So this guy just told me these are 20 ply tires. That has no air in it. Look how much it still sits off the ground. Also, he's got a valve stem protector. So, no losing air here. I mean, if you don't have any air to lose, I guess it doesn't matter, but that thing's super rad. Check out how he cut his tires so he can get more grip. Yeah, I think what's really gonna hurt me is not having good tires. You see what he did his front tires? I know, I like, I want to do that next So you time. cut them? Perfect weight distribution. <laughs> yeah, but if you busted one of those. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hot. This one's like identical to mine. I guess she's raced it a lot before, but never raced it on dirt. So we'll see how it does. So we're about to go out there for an autograph signing. I don't think anyone wants my autograph, but we're about to go out there. Dane's barely hopping his car in his car right now, and his wife's car just barely got off like the trailer. We literally just undid the straps and rolled it out barely in time. So yeah, I'm in the, the Honda. It's running, it's going. We're good to go. But uh, yeah, it's really down to the last minute. Everyone's pretty much already out there on the field. This track is huge. I did not realize those grandstands are massive. This is so crazy. <laughs> Wind noise is probably obnoxious right now. So now we're walking around for the meet and greet thing or whatever, autograph session. Check out these cross carts. These things have like street bike engines in them. These things are so gnarly and they sound so crazy. They have like a chain and a sprocket and everything, like transmission. It's literally like a bull. I mean, not a bull. Talking. It's literally like a crotch rocket engine. It's got a hydro in it. Probably sequ sequential shifter. These look like so much fun. I wonder how much it costs to build something like this. There's Dane's car. There's my car. Look at the Honda. It came out so good. And there is Dane's wife's car. This is another four-cylinder guy. 
definitely looks like one of the more serious cars out here. Also, these things look like they would seriously hurt if they hit you. It's like tons of bars and tons of metal on the side. Would not want to get hit by that. No, I'm just, I'm excited to be here, but it still has a really hit. I think when I get buckled down and strapped down and I'm tucking all the straps and have the helmet on, I'm probably going to start crapping my pants. Right when I pull the strap here. <laughs> this is insane. That is cool. If you hit the side of this guy, he's not going to feel it. Wow. Gas fumes in the air. So it turns out there's 16 people in the four cylinder class. Um, I'm in heat one. Dane and his wife heat are in heat two against I each wish other. She was with you, dude. <laughs> Hopefully she takes you out before the main I so I can shot. so I can swoop in there and finesse the whole thing. So we just ran out there and ran some practice laps and Dane's wife's car wheel broke off. I think it, he just forgot to tighten the lug nuts, honestly. But she's she, she's coming down the back of a tow truck. Look at this. What is going on? <laughs> Place in the very back, and I worked my way all the way up to second. 
and I almost spun around the corner, and then I ended up getting uh, fourth place, I think. But I rubbed on a lot of people. Check that out. Front bumper took some damage all down this side. That's all tire mark right there. Oh my gosh. All this. And then if you want to see this, I did not put this here, I swear. This is all this is all jacked up now, it's all ripped, and then this was inside of it. Oh my gosh, so funny. Oh, oh. And she wants to oh. oh my god! The second time! Oh my god! White flag coming up this time by. And her husband. Oh no. Sorry, Christy. <laughs> no. So this is one of the dudes I hit chat. I ripped his whole door open. You can see, you can see daylight through there. And that piece of trim that was in my front bumper, that, that belongs right there. So yeah, Robin's racing for sure, but that was a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, definitely no hit for malicious on my part. I was just trying to get out in front. Dane's wife's car is back up and running again. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Lug nuts tight. Dane, you start in second. I start in second? You start in second. I feel good about it. <laughs> I don't feel good about it. Dane got second place overall out of everybody. That is so good. Me and Christy didn't even finish. Uh, take a look at my car. I'm gonna turn this light on. Flat tire. Totally flat. So it's it's pretty hard to do anything with a flat. But as you can see, it's banged up all around it. Dude, nice. So we're second place. Yeah. Second place. Second place. That is so sick. Who for number four? Number 40 on the board. Yeah, well, <laughs> my tire blew out. Look at it, destroyed. I'm just sitting over here all bitter because uh, Dane's like talking to fans and his trophies up there and stuff. His wife is like posing for pictures. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we come, why don't we come over there? Just the loser. So we just filmed some stuff for Dane's video, which is gonna be coming out pretty soon. He says he's gonna go on a vacation and he's gonna edit it there, but he got tons and tons of great footage. I mean, he has his own film right here, busting out all these crazy cameras and gear and stuff. So I'm, I'm just a rookie over here with my G7X. Anyways, go check out his channel, because he's gonna have a bunch of cool stuff posted, like I said. Um, now I gotta pack up this this ramp truck and this, uh, what is it called? Oh, it's a Civic. Pack up the Civic, sorry, I got hit a few times out there. <laughs> but uh, we'll head home. This is one of the demo cars. This thing is like, so clapped out. I'm glad I wasn't sitting in this thing when it got hit.
Oh my god. This thing is totally obliterated. <laughs> okay, the Honda's on the back of the Ram truck, all loaded up, flat tire and all. Uh, Dane's got a CRX loaded up, and we are ready to head out of here. Even though I didn't win this race, I actually pretty much got dead last. I still had a great time, I lost a bet. It's whatever it happens. Uh, it's still good fun, I'll be back out here the next one. The next one's not till March though, so that's a really long time to wait. But, Thanks for coming out, man. <laughs> I lost, dude. Come yeah, on. Came out. Thank you. And you still put that thing together in five days. That's, that's still that's, that's still something, rough. right? If you like this week's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content. Thank you so much for watching.